this is the Scott T transformer example. In fact, the Scott T transformer consists of two transformers. The purpose of the Scott T transformer is to convert the three phase voltage to the two single phase voltages. The geometry models are simple, these are just transformers, but the circuitry is complicated. Now, please take a look at Quickfield. I will open the problem properties. You see, this is the AC magnetic problem. The frequency is 50 Hertz. And let's take a look at the geometry model. You see, the geometry model consists indeed of two transformers. And the transformers are connected using the external circuit. Some blocks are part of one transformer, and other blocks represent another transformer. So there are two transformers. They are independently in the geometry model, but they are connected together in electric circuit. Now let's take a look at the results. Here you can see the flux density distribution and the flux density change in time. But what I would like you to see, let's take a look at the winding. There is the electric current flowing in the primary winding, the secondary winding is disconnected, so there is zero electric current here. In new version Quickfield 6.3 Series Park 2, you can take a look at the color map of the Lorentz force. You can see the Lorentz force distribution. In fact, there are, if we take a look at the electric circuit, you can see there are two groups of primary windings. So here you can see primary B and primary C winding, and you can see the magnetic force density distribution across the winding. Well, you can click, you can select each conductor, and for each conductor, calculate the Lorentz force, the magnitude and the direction. Let's take a look at the circuit results. Now, with the circuit results, you can see the direction of the resistor. In previous version, the direction was not available, and the same for the voltage drop. You can see the voltage drop. Now you know that the voltage drop is the potential difference between the potential of the start point and the potential of the end point, and the current is directed along the arrow.